If you are having your students complete assignments outside of the Schoology interface, such as in OneNote or in Flipgrid or another district subscription, what you want to do is you want to create an area in Schoology so that the students will be able to know exactly what they need to do for this activity, even though it's not going to be completed within Schoology. By doing what I'm going to show you, you will be able to create a notification for the students that will show up when they log into Schoology, indicating that they have an assignment upcoming and due, and it will also show up in their Schoology calendar. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to your course and you're going to go into a folder where this particular assignment would make the most sense to go. So let's say, for example, I have a OneNote worksheet that I want the students to complete and it's part of their advanced algebra unit, but they're not going to complete it in Schoology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an assignment in this folder and this assignment just needs a few key pieces of information. So you need a name. So I'm going to put 1218 decimals worksheet. And the reason I just put a date in there is just a little bit of an added extra bit of information so the students know um, when this activity is going to be expected to be completed. The description area is where you're going to be very specific about what you want the students to do and what you when you want the students to complete it and where you want the students to complete it. So you can see here I have instructions that they're going to go into their math one note notebook. There's a page that they're going to be completing on des decimals and it, I tell them exactly what section of the notebook they're going to find this. The other pieces of information that you want to fill out to ensure that this is going to show up for the students in their activity feed is you're going to want to pick a due date. This will make sure it goes in the calendar and it will also again show up on their activity feed when they log in. So I'm going to go over to December and I'm going to pick the date that is due. And if you're not going to be grading this, you can change the point value to zero if you want. For category, I'm going to leave this as an ungraded. And over here, you can uncheck sync to SIS, but this is not an automatic sync to PowerSchool. So if you don't remember it, it's not that big a deal. The other key component to this is this part over here under options. This little box over here, by default, submissions are enabled, which means the students would be required to submit something to you to actually complete this assignment. Since they are going to be completing this in OneNote and not in Schoology, we can disable that by unchecking it and it will become grayed out. So again, we're going to have a title, we're going to have specific instructions as to what they're going to do and where they're going to be completing it. We are going to make sure that we pick a due date. Um, point value is up to you whether you decide you're going to grade this later or not. And then options, you're going to disable submissions and then you're going to click create. So now that it's created, it's going to be in that folder where I just created it. And I'm going to hop on over to the student view just so you can see the type of notification that the student is going to see so that they know what to do, even though they're not going to be completing this in Schoology. So I've now logged in to this course as my test student. And again, when a student first logs in, on the right-hand side pane, it will show them anything that they have overdue, as well as any assignments that they have upcoming. So if I look at my upcoming list, you can see here that assignment that I just created that is going to be completed in OneNote now shows up in my upcoming list. It will also be in the course itself, in the place where we created that assignment and it will also be in the student calendar. So if the student goes over to the calendar and they navigate over to December and they could filter this out if they need to, but you can see here the worksheet is here. The one difference between creating this type of assignment where submissions have, are disabled is that if the students are late with this assignment, they are not going to get any overdue notifications in that, that overdue area that you see when the students first click in to Schoology. And the reason is, is because nothing is being required to be submitted on, on their behalf in Schoology, so that nothing is going to show up over here. However, by creating it in Schoology, putting an assignment due date there, it will show up in the calendar as well as their um, upcoming list of items that they need to complete.